Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent, and welcome back to part 9. Now, it does say Mini Tut 8, but I'm not bothering to make a new file just for this. Uh, Mini Tut 9, which is the second part in a two part mini series for Mini Hotkey uh, t Mini Tutorials. Um, in this one, we're going to look at how to disable uh, Windows keys, uh, Windows hotkeys, or other applications' hotkeys. So, for example, I have here Paint. And normally in Paint, if I hit Control Z, it'll undo my last action, right? What if I don't want it to do that? Well, let's have a look at that. All I would have to do is, because Control Z is attached to that that function, all I have to do in our in our script is just type out Control Z. And that's it. Now if I save it, and run it. Let me make sure I'm not running two instances. Okay. Now if I go here and if I hit Control Z, nothing's going to happen. And I can go one step further and show that by using a message box to confirm that I am in fact pressing Control Z. I mean, you should be following along and trying this with me, but if you're not, whatever. Okay, so you can see that Control Z is going to pop up a message box. Oh, did I save? I don't know if I saved. Okay, so now I go back here. I hit Control Z, and instead of it erasing it, it's just going to pop up a message box. So once again, if I want to disable a hotkey for another application, all I have to do is just use that hotkey in Auto Hotkey, have it do nothing at all, and its functionality will be removed. Um, specifically, the, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because uh, one of my subscribers asked me to do a mini tutorial. He was having a problem where he wanted to disable the Windows key for a specific application for a game or whatever. So for him, this is how you do that. All you do is you type in, um, my computer only has the, the left Windows key. So in my case, all I have to do is I type L and then Win. And that's my hot key. And once again, I'm just using the message box to confirm that I am pressing the key. And uh, whatever. Okay. So now when I run this, if I hit the left Windows key, it instead of it opening up my Windows thing, it just pops up the message box. But you wouldn't want to do it like that. All you do is just leave it blank save it and now when I hit the Windows key it does absolutely nothing at all okay so that's for his specific example now the next thing that we're gonna look at is what if with our control Z function here what if for everything except for paint if everything every other program except for paint we want the control Z to work as normal so it's only for paint that we don't want it to work like that the way we set up that is we just type in if when active and then we need the piece of information from we need our class for our paint so the way we do that is if you're using this script editor it's right up here if you don't have this script editor go to where you installed auto hotkey on your computer and inside of that folder you'll see something called au3 spy tool or something like that and it'll have an icon that looks like this open up that and you'll get this then go to whatever application you're looking for things from and we're gonna take its class so we're gonna copy the second line right here so what we're basically going to be doing is we're going to check to see if that window is the active window. So if that window is the active window, all we want to do is just return. So we want to exit out of our hotkey. If it's any other application, what we really want it to do is we want it to send control Z because it's only it's only for the paint shop that we want it to be disabled. So we just type in send control Z but there's a problem if we did this what is gonna happen is it's gonna send our hotkey and we're gonna end up in an infinite loop 
over and over again and I'll show you that real quick with a message box and you know what out here I'm gonna create a variable we're gonna we're gonna monitor how many times it loops through and we're gonna have I plus plus in here okay I think that should be good so since we're not on paint it's not going to give us our return instead it's going to give us our send control Z which is also assigned to our hotkey so we're going to end up in a loop where it's constantly looping over and over again so let's let's run that I hit control did I save it and run it I don't know okay I hit control Z and we get a message box oh I'm an idiot my bad what we really wanted was to display I okay let's do that again control Z and we get one and um, I think it's our message it's the message box I tried this earlier and I had the same similar kind of problem I think it's the message box that's interrupting things uh, let's see let me try it this way we'll do it without the message box if that doesn't work um, okay there we go okay so there we go we, we can see that we have an infinite loop so what we need to do in this case is all we have to do to make it so that way our our send command can't like nothing in our script can trigger our our hotkeys is all we need to do is just put a dollar sign in front of it and that means that anything in our script so if anytime we send something or things like that it's not going to be able to trigger our hotkeys and we'll run it again and this time we should only get this message box once okay and there we go but why did it erase it Oh, I know why. Because I hit send control Z. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, remember control Z makes it erase the last thing we typed. So I'm going to here, I'm going to type something out for it to erase. So that way it doesn't mess up my hotkeys. So I save it. Um, damn. Okay, there. If I hit control Z. We get our message box once and then it's going to erase something. And there we go. Okay, so we can see that, that our script is working the way that we want it to. So it's sending the control Z, but let's test that it actually is doing what we want on our program. So remember, we have seen that control Z is working. We did, did erase something from our script by pressing control Z on it. And since I've gotten rid of the message box, I can do it actually faster here now. Okay, so I hit Control Z, and obviously I didn't save. Okay, I hit Control Z, and obviously it erased. But if I go over here and draw something, and then hit Control Z, it does nothing, absolutely nothing. So I've disabled it only for this application. Okay. And I can do the reverse. I can do if the paint was the only program that I wanted it to actually send a control Z, I could just move this from here, put it up here, get rid of that, and now it's only, so if I type something out here, it's only in paint that'll actually do our control Z okay so that's how you do that um, hope you enjoyed be sure to hit that like button on your way out and I'll see you on the next one have a good day